My name is Jack Sepp the Guy, and welcome to a game called Dredge, which is supposed to be an eldritch cthulhu -y horror game, but you're a fisherman flying around in the sea and doing all the fisherman things that you're supposed to be doing. But it's been on my radar for a while and it looks really, really good. So I wanted to try it out. Job listing, angler wanted. Haha, <laughs> that's me. If I put a beanie on, I'd look exactly like that, so I would. What was that? Ocean turbulence. Oh, rocks. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I'm into it. Anything that gives me, like, eldritch horror, I'm gonna be into anyway. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Well, who are you? A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to the Great Barrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of the old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of here to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, undock. Man, I'm just straight into it. Look at me go! Ho -ho! Yeah! Man, I am cute! F to fish. Oh. Oh, I have to press F to do it. Okay, I caught a blue mackerel. Ah, I see. Boom! Man, I'm gonna fish this place out of it! So much blue mackerel! I'm gonna dredge the depths until there are no more fish left in the sea! You know how people are like, oh, plenty more fish in the sea! Not when I'm around! Depleted. Nice. Where else should we go? These look like big fish. I want these. Are they all the same? Boom! 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 Man, that's easy. I like that. A cod! How do I rotate you? Yes! Look at that! Perfect precision! It's like playing fish, playing fish Tetris. Trophy cod. Okay, wow! I got a yellow one! The spot has been depleted. Okay. No butter at all at all. How many advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions? So, like, most of the time. <laughs> Whoa, is that a shark? I want to fish up a shark! I don't think I have enough space for a shark, but... You don't have the right equipment for this spot. Oh, come on! Let me get in there with my bare hands! Let me get down and wrangle jaws with my own fingertips! What is this? Out in the distance. It's glowing. I want to work so hard that I get something to fish up sharks. Ooh, it's a message in a bottle. Don't mind if I yes. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper uh, today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of the Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the uh, instead of the rods. That could be a euphemism. Keep your hands on the wheel instead of jacking it out in the ocean. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want to f want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. 
I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. That's nice. Did your ship crash and you all died though? I guess that's part of the mystery. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay, did he actually tell me what time I need to be back by? Is it like 6 p.m.? I don't know. Are we doing like Stardew rules or are we doing... I don't have the right equipment. Disturbed water, stock low, shallow. Oh, it's eels. That's cool. Let me just stay close. Sexualized by holding E and then toggle with... That's so cute! I'm so cute! Whoa! Yeah, we're fishing up squids! An arrow squid, he's so small. I like that the fishing has different types. So it's not all the exact same fishing over and over again, because that would get really dull really quickly. Uh, let's put you here. Depleted. I think we can head back. I think that's good enough. For some reason, the eyeball under my time is doing something. What is going on over there? Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Other things increase. I should have read that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We're docking. I assume that means the longer we stay out, the more insane I get. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Why? I just got here. It's like Stardew. In Stardew you get there, it's like, I want to do up my farm. But nobody has any motivation or initiative to do anything in that town. Anyway, so to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market. Paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied, understand? Yes. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Um... Fishmonger. What are you buying? You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Dude, I cook salmon for dinner one day and I have that smell on me for two days. I don't know how people do this job. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out there. Out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns and other islands might pay different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. I have a lot! I'm gonna make you bankrupt, bald old man. Um, this one first, absolutely. Sell. For $21! Where do I see debt adjusted 324? I don't know where my thing is. Oh, if I hold F, I sell all of them. Nice. That's good, right? You like that? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? A research part. A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned that might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Don't mind if I yes. Ah, she's cool. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the air. I'm not doing voices. 
Because my throat hurts from something else I did yesterday, and I just can't do it. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. They mostly patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scattered. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Um, what is this? Operational 35% fishing speed. Okay. Catches coastal. This catches shallow and shallow. Fishing speed 40%, 10%. I think I'll... Oh, I can't! I don't really want this one, though. 75 for that, but I'm just going to replace it with this anyway. What else you got? Uh, an old rusty engine won't get you far. Plus 10 knots. Can I stack engines? Because that's going to be very useful to know. Yeah, it shows another slot, so... No, why not? I want... Oh, okay. It takes two hours actually in game town. Enter repair mode. Fix damage and restore durability. Okay, I don't actually have anything to repair. Okay, cool. 28, 48 remaining. I think I should research something. A hydraulic rod can catch oceanic fish, and I have one research part. Or I can get that fishing pole I wanted by spending the same. I'm so glad I didn't have enough money to buy that. I mean, it would have been fine because I would have just bought this instead of my research points, but... Ooh, I can get better engines. Pots, nets, oh ho oh, oh. ho! This is going to get addicting! I like this! Later, losers, I have fish to catch! Oh, look at my speed! Speed is key! A floating buoy! It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Are we talking like don't starve rules where if I'm out at night, I'm just going to die? Okay, can't fish this. That's fine. This is really fun. I love games with upgrades. Ha! Ha! You shall be mine, stupid fish. Okay, maybe something a little bigger. Can I fish here? Yeah! Trophy fish, baby! Is he? Yeah! Hi! 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 I love the art style of this game as well. It's so nice to look at. Oh, can I go back, sell, and then go back out fishing again? That is something that we are about to try. I've got a special order come in. Come through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. They asked for... Oh, I didn't even see what the pursuit the guy told me was. The mayor. They asked for one gold flounder and one gray eel. Just bring him when you have him. I don't have a rod for that. But with $150, I could. Actually, no, I got $134. Because the stupid tax man comes for my money. Stupid. We can undock and go again. Although it is getting late. Who knows? Maybe I can just fish here. I can just fish here and catch a few little boys. Just catch a few little lads. Place is depleted. Cool. Cool. Very slick. Very dope -a Okay, fish are actually going away now. It's getting late. This is stupid. Why am I out here? I can't fish here. It's too shallow. I need to head back! So I need two points to actually be able to get that rod. That was a waste, because I could have spent one on that and gotten it, and then got oceanic fish. I said, now I'm sitting here waiting for this. Use parts to research new equipment. Research equipment will appear for sale in shops. Oh, it becomes for sale. Okay, I'm worried that I'm going to mess this up. So I'm going to buy this one. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. 
She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. Well, technically I crashed here and now I'm stuck here until I pay off my debts to society. I'm basically a prisoner of this island, but sure, fish. There's nothing for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. I'll drop kick you. Onward! A new dawn breaks. New fish to be conquered. New land to be harbored. New me. Nice. That's a flounder right there. Woohoo! Big boys. Okay, I need to be better about this. I also want to go see if I can catch an eel. I don't want to stay here and fill up on flounder. I need to get me an eel so I can get my pursuit done. So I can get more parts. Or whatever. Oh, this is weird. Um, okay, you're long, boys. Dang it! That was gonna be a trophy one. Oh, man. Yes, I did your order. Just leave whatever you have. I'll keep order on ice until it's ready to go. Okay, boom. And a boom. Fishmonger wraps up the fish, hands you some money. 4750. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another one here. It's a little more curious. Oh. Uh, don't see many people fishing squid these days. I just had a bunch of them. They only feed at night. Gotcha. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Yeah, because they keep paying for all the ramshackle shit going on in your town. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I don't have a choice. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry you only have... So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Ah. Two rod spaces, net spaces, engine spaces, light space. Okay, I don't have anything for this. Onwards again! Out we go! Time goes by so fast in this game! I want to be out fishing all day! Even if I get more equipment, how do I get more time? Nice! God, I'm so good at catching those ones. I actually, I keep going back at 8 p.m., but I've never actually seen what happens, so I don't know. Um, I could be allowed to be out by, like, midnight. And I'm, like, panicking for no reason. That was a bad one. Doesn't matter. Oh man, it gets real scary out here. It's like stuff sparkling and everything. I feel like at some point, if I'm just out in the middle of the ocean at nighttime, something's gonna come and eat my ship. And I don't want that. Not at all. Yes, I have your stuff right here, old man. Except a black grouper. I didn't know you wanted that. Okay, I guess I gotta go out and fish more. This is the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure thing, Buckaroo. The mayor hands you a small damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. He killed someone. He definitely killed someone and I'm selling body parts to cannibals. The dock worker will be, will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. 
He reminds me of the Duke from Resident Evil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. So he said head east. Wow, look how pretty. This must be Little Marrow straight across. Let's go deliver our package first. I also like that the loop in this game, like you go out, you fish, you come back, you get your stuff, you go out and you fish. It's so quick that it really keeps you being like, oh, one more, just one more. I can do this. I can get my fish. Are you, Little Marrow? <laughs> yeah. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. Small package removed from inventory. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't see for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Because it's humans! Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back. It doesn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get some use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pockets and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Give me a book on sustainable fishing. Select it as active book, past time to read. Oh! Okay, I need to catch two squid and one black grouper, and they only bite at night. So... Ooh. What do you trade? You enter a bill brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No. Ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I don't. But I'll be back! Bottles around? I should stop while I'm looking, because that'll stop time. I did see a bottle out here, but I don't know how dangerous it is to go so far out. It's fine. <gasps> Materials! Man! How am I supposed to get those? I keep saying I don't have the right materials. Or the right equipment. Um, 21st of August, 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Oh, you guys got attacked by something, didn't you? You guys went where you weren't supposed to went. And then you pay for it. Ooh, 24% of my book. That's great. Um, this feels like a very wasted day in regards to fishing, but that's all right. I did a mission. Oh no, I caught all these flounders. What am I talking about? Let's catch some little boys to fill in the gaps. Wait, there's something sparkling over here every time. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. That's cool. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Rods, reels, and rigs. Fish monster, fish monster, whatever. So is anything after 6 p.m. nighttime? 6 p.m. is sunset. And then... Getting into like now is nighttime. I don't know where groupers be. That's just fucking squid. Oh, I don't like the bubbly, gurgly sound. Oh, 
it's so scary! How could such a simple game be so scary? Okay, I'm not finding any groupers. Maybe maybe it's just the squid that come out at nighttime and groupers are ocean fish or something. I don't know. Oh, what is this? A grotesque macro. Ew! I just want to fish fish, not monsters. Ew! Gross. Um, let's take a look around the back. Since people were talking about it, what is that? Whoa, it's like a portal to another dimension. Why am I fishing at it? A barbed eel. <laughs> Some things in this game are nasty! The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Do I want to place my hand on the stone? The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Thank God. I thought I was about to get taken to a special place. Stingray? I... Okay, I can't catch many more of those. But new fish is new fish. Maybe if I get one of a new fish, I should keep it in my storage and not sell it immediately. Because what if the guy's like, I want a barbed eel and I can't get one again too quick. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Okay, so we're getting explosives at some point. Yeah, my book is done. Um, I, I, I don't know where it went. It even said it. Oh, it's just here. A hefty tome and laborious read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mention something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. So is that... Like, like, do I just not fish up every fish? Ooh, I have to show him the grotesque fish. Ooh, let's do that. Maybe I shouldn't fish every spot to depletion. Because it'll take ages for it to come back. I don't want to overfish the region. I know I said that, but that was a joke. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to, the, up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Why do I feel like everybody in this town knows more about what's going on than I do? Like, they all know, like, ah, that's a wibblewomble. Hmm. Ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Huh. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Excellent. Uh, you go to storage, you go to storage. Um... You go to storage for now. Oh. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. That's so creepy. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I needed to inspect it. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Maybe that's the island I haven't gone to yet. Head out of this bay and cut south. Yeah. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Can I... If I go to the other dock, can I sleep there? Let's see. What's the worst that could happen? Apart from the fact that nighttime is approaching very swiftly. Uh-oh. I, I dinged me ship. I better be able to rest here. Why wouldn't I? I arrive at a town and I sleep on board my ship.
It's okay. Everything's normal. Everything's fine. Yes, I can sleep here. Cool. The man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts. Treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. Is that the ship I'm getting the bottled messages about? It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Yes! Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. Sure. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. That's a lot. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Will do, my bro! Oh, can't go in there. Okay, so my storage is not relegated to one area. Here I go dredging! I can't wait to dredge! Get the dredgy bits. Nice. Oh. Oh, this is different. Wow, that's fun. I got a ring. Is that the ring you want? It better be, because I don't have another one right now. I like that it's not the same as the fishing. Oh, almost got hit by that. Uh, let's put you there. This place has been thoroughly dredged. Read it, metal scraps. Excellent. Oh, wait, I can dredge again. And I shall. You all haven't seen dredging like this before. No one has ever dredged as much as I'm dredging. You can still get fish and stuff, but I'm a dredger now. I'm not about that fish life. 60% complete on my rods. Cool. How do I get a piece of research equipment though? What are you? <gasps> Isn't that a grouper? A black grouper, that's what I needed. I need, I need four little spaces. Ah, damn it. Damn it all. Can you? Just There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna make a big risk and we're going out over the deep down dark deep down just so I can get back home. That is so cool looking over there. I haven't seen anything outwardly and overtly spooky yet though, but I know it's in the game. I'll find it. If it's the last thing I dredge. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Great Marrow, of Greater Marrow, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. You can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. No. I'm gonna dredge everything. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to the sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful. So far it is. It's, it's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. 
not so bad here. I don't want to move along. I can't go back. Yeah. Yeah, push forward, power through. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Ah, first I'm rebuilding the town, I'm rebuilding your life. What am I, a fucking therapist? Uh, my storage. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. And this. That's stuff for that order? I sure do, fish boy. 97.59, that's a very specific amount of money. <sighs> I didn't think you... Hey, uh, fish bald? Is that normal sounds? Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture. I've been considering crab pots. Ooh, so can I put those down and then go out and uh, get crabs out of them later in the day? Yes, please. Thank you. Love that. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two and check on it. Nice. We've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Fiddler crab, someone who plays like a fiddle? Both species can be found around here. Oh. Oh. I'll buy some. A bolt of cloth? What a bloody hell's that? A bolt of cloth. Actually, can I have these back? I might as well do the one that I can do. Excellent. Now I can have more engines and <laughs> select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with Okay. My crab pot ability. Does it really matter where I Oh, it says plenty of crabs here. Nice. And how close can they be to one another, I wonder? Like We'll just do that. Wait, did I have a third one? Nice. Crab pots do I have? None. <laughs> Ooh, a foghorn. <laughs> Here's some of that swirly stuff again. Interdimensional fish. Okay, that's just a regular one. Come on, give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me a sweet boy. Give me a crazy one. Okay, I'm done here. I don't want to overfish the region. It's sound though. Stop! I don't want to get scared. I didn't check this last time I was here. All that's left is this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Oh, baby! Look at all these goods! Oh, hell yeah! I'm rich! I'm gonna discard you. Do I have to? Nope. <laughs> I played Tetris against Evelyn when Tetris 99 came out. And I was awful. Uh, she was so much faster and better and quicker at like figuring things out. And I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, this is the thing I'm missing. The cloth bolt. I also lost a fish because I damaged my ship. I, I, I dinged it real good, guys. Smash it right into this rock because it's dark and I don't have my lights on. I'm a foolish man. Oh Man, it's late. Oh I didn't realize how late it was. Oh, no What what is that? Rocks do appear out of nowhere. Whoa Dude, that's messed up Oh, being out at night sucks! 
Sell that, sell that, sell that. Is that a research part that I got? Yeah, baby! Flexible fishing pole now available at stores. So what that does is allows me to catch coastal and shallow fish so I can get rid of my other ones. Bo's looking a little banged up. Yeah. Yeah, I took some dings out there. Yeah, I smashed real good. Sell this. Sell this. And buy this. Oh, crap. If you keep your fish too long, they go rotten. Well, that's good to know. Ew, a many eyed mackerel. <laughs> Ew. Why is he like that? <laughs> There's two, like, portal spots or shimmery spots out here today. Why is bro like that? Come on, give me another one. Give me, like, a, a cod with toes. Oh. A three-headed cod! Ew! You're kinda cool, though. <laughs> I got a trophy fish! Man, I'm so impressive. My daddy's gonna be real happy with me. I need to get me some more lumber. I gotta dredge me some depths. Down I go to the deep dark down, deep down. Ah, oh, this is peaceful. Just a nice time out on the ocean. It gets scary at night time, but during the day it's quite pleasant and lovely. Okay, we're just getting regular Mackies. Give me a weird one again. I love the sound it makes when you grab when you catch them. The, the like discordant music. Uh, lumpy mackerel! Ew. He is my lumpy child, and I shall call him Lumpy. <clears throat> okay, are any of these things the rings that you want? What is it? Don't bother me with common clutter. I hear that the trader in Little Marrow deals with such incentives. I, I, that wasn't incentives, but I don't know what you said, but I'll go there then Fine, I thought some of these were the rings you were looking for. I guess it would have been too easy to find them like that. Hello. Is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes You see my only son was lost at sea some years ago He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks all alone in the cold dark water. That is a sobering thought man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, spe specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. All right, buddy, I didn't ask for your life story, but sure, I'll do it, because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy that wants to help people. You know, sometimes I like catching squids. Sometimes I like catching groupers. Sometimes I like selling fish. So what? It's the life of a fisherman, you know? I wonder if I can survive a whole night out there sometime. That would be cool. Um, I'm going to sell all of these. How much money am I going to get? 207 oh, oh Old iron chain junk to the untrained eye, but there's good metal here. Someone might pay for this Let's Send that to storage then Um, Need metal for that Wood for that and two wood for that Things are coming along nicely. I'm happy with my progress so far. Take a look through this on the house. Ooh, she pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Yeah, grease. Okay, fine. Does that matter that they're sideways? Because if I buy another one, I can do that. I don't know if that works, but I want to test it out. Oh, it works and it's fast. Look at me go! Let me check my crab pots. <gasps> wow, a fiddler crab! And a common crab! Those are the ones I need! I caught all the crabs for that order, sir! 
Nice. 49.83. You can always buy more here or repair the damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request. Final? No, say it ain't so. Don't break up with me. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these fish? They go mad. Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, and he will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Are you going to eat them? Um, so I don't repair those here. Oh wait, I need to repair my ship. Cause I smashed into a rock out there, I did! A little bang. A little ding-bang wallop. If you know what I mean. Oh, this is new. Oh, there's lots of materials. Yes. Whoa. Fuck. Fuck. That's a hard one. Bronze belt buckle. Is that the engraved one? Engraved, but almost every detail is entirely worn away. <gasps> He'll recognize it. He said that... Wait. You're looking for your fucking son. You're like, oh, he's out there somewhere. In the cold deep. Dude, he was out the back of your house. He was literally just at the back of the island you live on. You can probably see him from your garden. Ooh, it's getting a little freaky out here now. Oh yeah, time goes by so quick out here when you're doing that before you even realize it. Uh oh, rocks are gonna start forming in front of me. Yep. Yep, I just need to Tokyo drift around this fucking island. Hole damaged. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. <gasps> There's another boat out there! What are you doing, bud? You wanna be boat buddies? Dude, he's gonna get swallowed by the sea. How is he doing that? Give the belt buckle to the old man. He gives the belt bu buckle to the old man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I've not any money to pay you, but yeah, baby, that's even better than money. Thank you. Happy grieving. Sorry about your family or whatever. Oh, this catches the oceanic fish. Yeah, baby. It's all coming together. 410? I had that money once. Once upon a long ago. You see fish? I see money. We are not the same. Oh, fishman, I have something you could eat. Eat it in front of me. I want to see what happens. I want to see you mutate. Fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Ew. Yes, yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. Two! Oh, baby! It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. Are you okay, old man? Are the fish getting to your brains? In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. You must deal with this creature quickly now. Okay. Sorry to bother you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Can I not go in? Ooh, plot! That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, mangrove, volcanic and shallow. Dude, where are we going? Ew! A snag squid! What's that music? Oh, the moon is big, and full, and bright. Ew! Ew! A host eel! Ew! It's pronounced hostile? Can you- if you upgrade your stuff eventually, can you just have like a- a big wide circle of light as you go out into the ocean? That'd be sick. I can't sell anything because Fishmonger Man is going nuts behind the door. Okay, let's sleep. Hopefully in the morning, he's raring to go. 
Nope, he is closed. I didn't even realize until right now that after reading my books, I was like, what do I do with them? It says what they do. I thought that that was just the same text that was there before. I just glossed over it. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks and catching a fish with a rod. Nice. Rods will reel fish in 10% more efficiently, or uh, effectively, and engines provide 5% more movement speed than listed. Nice. Now that's epic. <gasps> He's open again. Yes. Blindy headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Oh, dude. Dude. I'm going to sell everything to you. Yes. Oh my god, so much money. Oh my god, so much money. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can get this. Yes, now I can catch the super large fish that's out there. I kept being like, you don't have the right materials. You can't fish here. So he kept telling me. You need something else. Well, now I have something else and I'm coming for you, Ocean Shark. Yes. A bronze whaler. Oh, it's fucking massive. I think there's another one over here as well. I hope Fishmonger guy's okay. They can't really do anything to him since he's the only way you sell fish and make money in this game. I'm sure there'll be other fishmongers, but right now he's my only source of income, so what are they gonna do? Kill him? Not bloody likely. A bronze bale. Oh my god, you guys are a pain in the ass to figure out where to put. I myself have never fished. I went fishing once with my brother, actually. Um, but we didn't catch anything, so I don't call it fishing. I call it sitting in a boat and waiting. And it was so dull and so boring, and I didn't like it. So I just never did it again. But in video game form... And now I'm a fisher. It's official! I'm a fisher. Whoa, is that a skull? Whoa! How did I not see that before? That's so cool! Damn, there's some big creatures out in this ocean. I don't want to mess with those guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Excellent. I should head home. It is getting quite dark. And by the time I get there, it's going to be fucking midnight. Even though I have two new engines on my boat, they don't feel that fast. Maybe if I had three! Maybe I should have just saved up and bought the super cool big engine. The four piece one. No, I'm saving up to get the, the triple, the L. L engine, dude. Ah, oh, look at the lights in the distance. That's so cozy. We haven't really seen any of the super scary stuff yet. I mean, we're still super, like, really early on in the game. So I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, I want to get spooked. Oh, don't have room for that. Sorry, fiddler crab. You're going to have to fiddle on a roof for a while longer. Whoa, boat! Is he coming at me? Ow! Dude, he's coming right at me! It's an anglerfish! It's not a boat! Oh my god! That's so cool! It was disguising itself as a boat, and then when it got closer, you could see the little dangler angler. Ah, oh, that was fucking sick! This is the build- this is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. Maybe I should do that first, then. Before I get ahead of myself on my boat. Don't worry, lady. I'll dredge everything necessary right outside your doorstep. And then beg the question of why you couldn't have done this yourself. I guess because you don't have a boat. Ah, the material pile. That's it! I actually had enough! Should let the builder know. Oh, she's back at the other place still? 
Well, that's kind of silly, isn't it? Well, I guess there's nowhere to live here. <laughs> Ooh, don't hit the rocks. Oh. What are those pockets out there? What is that? What is happening to me? Time is going by really quick. Ah, God! Stupid brain rocks! Oh, ow! Oh, I lost the pearl earrings. God damn it. I sleep off this headache. That was cool though. I don't know what it is. Some sort of eldritch madness. It all makes you mad at the end of the day, doesn't it? And you have that whole Lovecraftian nonsense. It's all just gonna make you a little, <laughs> you know, a little like. <laughs> all right, builder lady, you've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Oh, you're my passenger. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Lady, I'm just going to say, I've seen the island that you're moving to. I think it has less going on. <laughs> That's a cool mountain. But... <laughs> you want to move away from this place that actually has civilization to a place where it's just going to be you? I mean, maybe that's what you want. All I know is... It looks a little stinky over here. What happens if I die now with her on board. What if we get attacked by the angler dangler again? All right, lady. Home sweet lump. Ah. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Yes. So that's going to be enough for this engine now. Which is great. There, I got one. Nice. I keep selling them and getting new ones though, so... Oh no, this is way faster. Awesome! Let's go! What did I get? A black tip reef shark. Nice. Love that for me. That's gonna be a lot of money. Ooh, I can't hold another one. I need to upgrade this fucking thing. Is that your house? Man, you built that in a day. You're talented. I heard the angler dangler again. Wait, he can't get me here, can he? Ah. Oh, I hate it! <laughs> hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Engineer's companion. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. <gasps> there it is. Oh, don't like it. What else do I want to get? A net? Higher quality mesh allows this net to hold more and last longer. I don't know how nets work. Look at my little boat. He's so cute. Um, let's go search like some of these islands over here. I've been doing a lot of stuff that's just immediately in my direct vicinity. Like a lot of stuff in the Marrow area, but I think if I'm gonna progress, I need to stop just fishing all the time. It's so addicting. You can just sit here and fish all day, every day, but I think I have to increase my search if I wanna start getting stuff to progress the actual story of the game. These shipwrecks seem like a good place to go. Ah, so peaceful. Me and me little bod. That's boat in Irish. Well, this one's easy. <laughs> oh, why can't they all be like that? Yes, 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 please. I shouldn't fill up, though. Uh, put you there. What's over there? What's my map? So that's the Gale Cliffs. Stellar Basin, Twisted Strand, and Devil's Spine. So there's four major areas that I haven't gone to. I probably should. Oh, it's getting late in the day already. There's another... A shipwrecked schooner over here. 
This is where I get my boat killed, isn't it? Cause I dredge too deep and I'm trying to keep all the sharks out of my ship. What is that? A doubloon! Ha ha! A few doubloonies! Let's go! Nice! Actually, I am very far from home right now. All the way over there. I think I can just go to this island here and sleep there for the night. I hope to Davy Jones that we don't run into Angler Boy again. Ah! What is that? This game is so scary at nighttime. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, there he is! There he is! Uh oh! Uh oh! What do I do? Am I even in the right area? Oh, uh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming! Crap! 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 Oh, <laughs> Ow! Damn it! Oh my god! Oh, that was so close! I didn't get anything! <laughs> I have a ton of metal! Why am I not using that on anything? Okay, rest. I want to explore this other island a bit more. I had to fix up my ship. Wait. That's not what I want equipped. Why is that equipped? There you go. <laughs> I want to get around this island. I started closer, so I should be able to. Ooh. Big island over there. I don't want to go too far too soon. Would it have been easier for me to just go through that island last night instead of chasing my way back, being terrified? Probably. Whoa. Can that lightning hit me? I'm just going to assume yes, because why wouldn't it? But the type of game this is, everything can kill you. Nice. What did I get? A goblet. Okay, you, you're bound to have some good stuff. Other than just metal. I have metal already. What is this? Okay. These are good. Whoa. Quick one. A bag of doubloons! Ha <laughs> ha! We're rich, lads! We're rich! The next boat's on me! Whoa. You guys have weird... Oh, it's anglerfish. Disturbed by water. I need abyssal. Whoa. What is that sound? Why is everything here blue? Jellyfish! Okay, don't forget, time doesn't move unless I am, so if you're freaking out for me staying out too late. I've not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some of the lines here and they are illegible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next months with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Ooh! Getting good! Is this a place that I can dock? Oh, nice! Okay, then let's just fish up this, whatever it is. Cool, my book. I'm such a good reader. Spectacles. Excellent! Okay, it's 8pm and I'm scared. To the lab. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Ooh. You can check the cupboards. Research! Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. 
On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuation, evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Ooh. You look around the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Hey! You pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Nice! I think that that means now I have enough research parts, yes, to get that engine. Um, I should go for- go away please. When do I get Abyssal? Oh, it's way later. I should start investing in some of these. Hopefully I can get everything eventually. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Probably shouldn't be sleeping, but what else am I gonna do? Go out and die? <laughs> Sounds like... Anybody... Whoa! What is that?! Whoa! It's huge! I don't want to get any closer to that. I'm afraid it's going to start pulling me in. Whoa, that's so sick! Why is it red? Is, is that bad? Is red bad? Should I leave? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not staying near that thing. Holy hell. Well, that must be the fort over there. I should have put a lot of this stuff in storage. God damn it. Whoa, that was a weird thing to fish. Um. Crap. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can maneuver some stuff. Do you fit here? Yes. Oh, so suddenly being in a new area is so scary. Cool fort. Mind if I ransack? What does this do? 10% chance to not reduce fishing stocks. That wasn't the one I just did, is it? Equipment types that use durability will lose it 10% slower. Excellent. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours. Something we have not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight. Sometime past midnight, we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep. The aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Like that? Fair enough. I'm sure you guys are fine. You got off this place and had a happy marriage and you're not dead at the bottom of the ocean. Shipwrecked. I'm sure everything's great. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, uh, yes. I thought you had the look and the smell. <laughs> but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had time. What do you need help with? I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Okay, so you need Aurora Jellyfish, Firefly Squid, and a Glowing Octopus. None of which... I... know anything about because this is a brand new area. Um, so I'll leave for now and put some stuff in storage. Yes. I need to get some place that I can sell fish again. I've also ventured far too far, too soon. And now I have no idea what else to do. Uh, let's just go over and search this island. Why not? Look at it sitting over there. 
I can make my way back. Everything's fine. Stop panicking. We're just out in the middle of the ocean where you can't see the bottom and it's abyssally dark and there's dolphins! Wow! Can I fish you? Can you help me fish? Oh, that's cool. This music feels like The Last of Us. I'm getting lastified. The dredge of us. Come on, epic treasure. If I could not be a dumbass. Come on, epic treasure. A boot! A fancy boot! Those boots weren't made for walking, they were made for dredging. Oh, this music's epic. I'm going on a grand adventure. Let's push a little further in. That was the lab over there. And the Kraken of the Deep, right there. Shipwreck. Surely one of you has something for that workshop guy. Or whatever his name was. Maybe not workshop, but... Oh, the sound of that is so menacing. But there must be a place with a fishmonger somewhere here that I can sell stuff to, right? I can't just be in the middle of the island. Or in the middle of the game world. Oh, that's so cool. Can I dredge him? Can I bring like a bomb out to the middle and then just drop it on him? That'd be sick. Who's here? Oh. Traveling merchant. Ahoy there, you're a new face. A fisherman, I take it? Perfect. Well, we should get along into it like a house on fire. I'm a traveler and a merchant, and rolled into one. All rolled into one. <laughs> I can't read. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to per peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Okay. Nice. Save my ass. Otherwise, they were gonna go rotten. Big upgrades to your boat. Here's the floating dock. Check it out. Okay, I still need bits for this. I still need refined metal, which I have no idea how to make. Um, I can buy a new engine. No, I can't. I'm poor. Oh, refined metal. 500! Oh! Let me get all the fish! I'll be back! Hoi! 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 That's such a weird one to do. Oh, yeah. Ow! Oh, the gold one didn't even have a chance to get up there. 485! Ugh. I'm so close! Hey again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Uh, reckon you could share your info with me? Sure, I can help with that. Great. The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper, eel, goliath, tigerfish, and coelacanth. Hmm. Okay. I'll bring those back. What are these? Is this that firefly squid? Yeah, that was one that the lady needed. Whoa, a radiant squid. Nice. Okay, let's not overfish them. Whoa, that gets intense at nighttime. Whoa, I don't want to be here. <laughs> this place is terrifying. Um, okay, fish market. I'm not gonna sell you all of these. Because I need that. Yes, 616! Uh, let's go, refined metal! Heck yeah! Because now that can go onto this. Perfect! Man, I these should be so easy to get. 
What do we get? Upgrade your... Oh, I need 500 to do it as well. Rest into a tier 2 hull and adds 5 new cargo spaces. Oh, that would be so nice. But alas, until then, I sleep. Oh, there's a little town here. If you could call it a town. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. The faint dance upon its surface. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Yeah, they never do anything. They never do anything. Do anything. Do anything. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Yes, cloth! Give it to me, baby! Ow, 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 ow! Yes, more than one! Woo! We're rich! Rich in cloth! Boom, baby, one more! Yes, one more for daddy! Woo! Yeah, baby! Excellent! Most, most excellent! Okay, I don't need any wood right now, but it's good to know that it's there. Oh! There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Pick him up! He's so cute! Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. You jump off the boat into the high, or thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Pat the dog! You're too far away to pat the dog. Okay, slowly approach. Call for the dog. Cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Call for the dog again. Doesn't seem to want to come any closer. Okay, slowly approach. It seems startled and runs back up to the shore like, God damn it. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand you're not a threat. You make your way back to the boat. As you're wading out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop to turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head questioningly. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail wagging so hard, it beats the water into a froth behind it. Oh! Oh no! Does somebody want the dog? <laughs> Cause I can't just bring the dog with me and take up four slots on my ship forever. I'm, so I'm sorry bud, I'm sorry, I'll be back, I'll be back, I know who you are. This is not the end for you! I will return! I know, I'm a cold, heartless bastard. I know so many of you are screaming at me right now. Look, my logic is sound. What if I'm out in the middle of the ocean and I get attacked by a giant monster and then the dog dies? At least there the dog is alive. I can come back and feed him. But if he comes with me on the ship, he just takes up room and I will get him killed by accident. Oh, this rock is doing something. Whoa! Holy crap! Get away from that! I don't want it! <laughs> Jesus! Why does everything in this game want to kill me? And the only thing that didn't want to kill me just takes up space! Christ! Give me my new thing! Well, you can't yet, because I need money, but... Oh. Uh... Fish market. I need to remember not to sell my other one. Oh my god, that was so scary! I got a piece of a map. A large scrap of paper with some shapes drawn on it. In one corner is a compass symbol. Ooh. Treasure map? Don't mind if I yes. Also, the squid died on my way to the other lady. So I'll just sell to you. Then everything else has to go in my storage. Until I can figure out what most of them do. I need to head back to be able to sell all this stuff. There's so many. I want to be so rich. Uh. I also need to fix my ship because it's battered and broken. And research into a rod. Yes. 
Okay, I'll fish around here a bit more, go to sleep, and then head back to my main islands again. I hope when this guy buys all my junk that I'm able to afford the bigger engine. I want to start going fast. I mean, I'm not slow, but, you know, it would be nice to go fast. He pulls a book for- Ooh, you give me a book? Sell all. 367. 534. That should be enough, right? Oh, I could have just sold from storage. What am I doing? Did he give me a book? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's good. That is a big storm coming in. Honey, you got a big storm coming. And I don't want to be here for it. Because right now what's killing me is getting to a new area takes a whole day for me. Unless me just being faster means that the time goes faster. That would be annoying. Um, how much is this? 450. Yes. But I also have to sell this one. Because it doesn't fit. Wait, this is 26 plus 15. Is this just worse then? I need more slots. If I get more slots, then I'm good, right? If I upgrade my ship to be where it needs to be. Oh wait, isn't that the thing that I was trying to do? Yeah, I just didn't have the money for it. Oh! Thank God I remembered that. <laughs> That would have been so annoying to buy the engine, not really get any sort of speed upgrade, and then go, Oh wait, my bow. So what do I need for these? Wood, metal, and cloth. Which, I mean, I basically have. Four more spaces. Ooh, engine space. Yes, metal and wood. I have that. But I don't have $75. This is exactly what I need. I'll go out and fish a little. I'm just, I just be fishing. You know? Any compliments down there that I can fish for? Are these crab pots that I have? Ooh. 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 Also needs repair. I don't have room. I'll be back. Those are some big sharks that I want to get. Yeah. Engine space. How much space do we have? It's not great. <laughs> I thought it would be way more than that, but whatever. What do I know? I'm just a fucking fisherman. Fishing in the sea. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Come here, a fucking shark! There has to be f a far more efficient method of putting them in storage that I'm just... Ew! Like, th there's a way of doing this, and my brain just doesn't want to figure it out. Let's go, big engine! Hold on! Need to make room! Do I have to sell this one? I think I do. There's not enough space. So I traded 36. I traded a 26 for a 36, so I got 10 knots more. Which is. I mean, it's not great, but I'll take it, you know. Whatever you can get. We should be zooming along fairly well now. Let's give her a test. Hey! hey. I barely notice a difference! Sick! There's a point of that. <laughs> wow, look how pretty this is. The colors in this game are gorgeous. Love it. What were the fish this lady said she wanted? Um. Huh. Orfish, Gulper, Eels, Goliath. Okay, so I don't have any of them. I found a fucked up looking shark. If you want that, 
a bloodskin shark sells for two hundo. That's a lot of dosh. Cargo spaces or rod spaces? Rod spaces might be nice. Cargo spaces are also nice. I'll do that. Like I said, I'm gonna get all of them anyway, so... Might as well start here! <laughs> Anything else you can put in this one? Some metal. Some wood. Okay, need a lot of cloth again. You can hear the dog barking! No! I'm having an existential crisis! I kind of want to look up a guide about the dog to see do they actually do anything because I feel horrible. I feel so bad leaving the dog behind. Like are game mechanics really worth your soul? Puppy! I'm so sorry! Oh, and everybody would have given him a name. Oh, I'm just the worst people. I'm doing it. I'm looking it up. Nothing else. I just want to know about the dog. Okay, it does say that somebody wants the dog. That somebody will take the dog. So that makes me feel a little better. That I'm not just going to have a dog on board that gets attacked by fish over and over again. I think that that's worth saving you for, little pooch. Okay, how, how did I do this again? Throw some fish. Uh... Uh, slowly, okay, backs up a little ways, it sits, uh, uh, call for the dog, okay, hold that fish in your hand, yeah, wait, I'm patting the dog, it's not doing anything this time, no, oh, Oh, I forgot that I have to leave and then it follows me. Okay. Come on, little pooch. You lift the dog onto the deck and walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Okay, I will. I will. You're not gonna die at sea. None of us are. We deserve better. Maybe the research lady wants a dog. Hey, lady. You want a dog? This dog needs a home, do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. The match maiden see. I could definitely take this one off your hands. And I'd love the company. Are you sure? You should take the dog. But my only request is that you name him Beans. Yes, thank you. Oh, yay! Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. <gasps> I get treasure. Oh, a ring. Okay. <laughs> Just give over the dog, and then he's like, Ugh. There you go. Oh, that makes me feel better now. Is that a hammerhead shark? Oh, hell yeah! I have way too much stuff on me for this. Can I fix this? I don't know if I can. I don't think I have the room for this guy. But I shall make room. Ah, one board is not that big a deal. I can find plenty more boards, but there's not plenty more fish in the sea. Wait, that, whoa. What is this? Looks like a key. Ooh, a collector's item. Hell yeah. Oh my God, it was right next to him. I was searching all over the place for stuff like that. And it was right next to his house. It's so annoying. <laughs> Wait, what is it? 
An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. That's a Cthulhu key right there. What if I end up helping this guy and he's actually just opening up a portal to another dimension and lets Cthulhu through? That'd be cool. Nothing, nothing in HP Lovecraft or Eldritch Horror ends well. It's always bad. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this hole? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. Turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Whoa. Burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Ooh, nice! My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Dude, that's where I just was. Oh no, I was in Stellar Basin. I was in the southwest. Got it. Twisted Strand and Devil's Spine. I wonder which is the volcanic one. This kind of looks volcano-y. But I don't know. Gale Cliffs. Okay, we can head there. What's my new ability? Imbue your engines, engines with otherworldly speed. Beware of overheating. Oh wait, I... <laughs> Come on! I barely tapped that! Wow! Let's go! What is that sound? Is that my engines? I think it was my engine making that sound. Okay, I lost one of the octopuses that I had. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you! Who are you expecting? Your engine! It sounds like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Interesting. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Huh. Okay, I gotta repair that damage now. That thing only sells for 32, but it was such a magnificent specimen. Okay, let's rest and then boost our way to Gale Cliffs tomorrow. That's nice. God, I'm so fast now. But in the bottom left, you can see that you start overheating, so I need to be very careful, because I imagine that'll break my engine. Um, yeah, just this way. The cooldown on it is nice, though. Oh my god, I'm so much more effective now. There it is. Gale Cliffs. I love the little lights on the houses as you approach. And the way they reflect in the water. It's so pretty. It's such a gorgeous video game. Oh, what's that? Big orange boy! Hello! Okay, it's just a fucked up shark. I guess I might as well bring some with me. There's bound to be someone I can sell these to when I get there. I won't fill up too much in case I need more space. Whee! Ooh, sailfish! Oh, it's almost! Come on, you can fit somewhere. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, you go away. I like the sailfish more. I think it sells for more money. Whoa, look at that! Wait, what does my telescope do? Cool. Identify fish at distance. Oh. 
Research parts! God, my boat's shaking all over the place. Look at this, like, Jurassic Park gate. Bum, ba, 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 da, da. Hey, traveling merchant. That's your thing, right? Yeah. I can sell you my fish. Oh. Boom. And this sells for 105. It's actually not that different. So I didn't really save a whole lot of... Or I didn't gain a whole lot more by getting rid of that other fish. The shark. Um, vessel. S.Y. Grand Prize. M Michael Schultz. Oaken music box purchased from the antiquarian, antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by locksmith. A wooden mask, carved wooden tribal mask, said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. Seems like you got a great deal. 12 piece tea set, bone china, six times cups, six times saucers, acquired from an Eastern dealer, do not use. And a jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. I've got a jar of dirt. Whoa, whoa! Are you damaging to my boat? I'll just stay away. Okay, what missions have y'all got? Uh, what missions can this lowly fisherman avail of? Ingfell. Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to protect a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conga eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. Sad boy. Bad dog. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? I sure can. Where can I catch them? Ah, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and I did mention that they only come out at night. Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Okay, easy. No! God damn it, I clicked it by accident. I can get some stuff done. What a delightful little video game. Literally obsessed. Um. Wait, there was another guy back there that I could have talked to, but he didn't have a mission. Oh, what are you? A black mouth salmon. New fish is always welcome. Everybody's welcome on board the jack ship. Shit. Um also need to Ooh, I have seven hundred dollars. That is most, most excellent. I have fished the place clean. What else you got? This is the research part. I might try and get that other fishing rod because this might be a place where you need a mangrove, a mangrove rod or whatever it was. That's a tricky one. And a big one. A wreck fish. I came in like a wreck fish ball. I've never hit so hard in love. Oh. Boof. 926. I am how you would say rich, no? This music just makes me think of French people. <laughs> uh, what else can we buy? I, can't, I don't have space for another engine. Ooh, bigger lights! And more refined metal. I'm gonna get this now, because that is gonna come in handy. 
And a new light. Why not? I deserve it. Yeah, I got a little beam on the front now. Fuck yeah. Okay, she said they only come out at night along the cliffs. What is that? Wow! Holy crap! It's a monster! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! I just wanted some fish, man! Do you think I could still get some? Do you think he's just gonna attack me every time I go in there? That was fucked! Well, you're not eels. But you're weird. A stonefish. Okay. I'll just take what I can get. That was terrifying. That's the scariest thing I've seen in the game so far. Oh my. I did not expect something like that to start chasing me. Whew. Got a little hot in the collar on that one. <laughs> Oh, this is a dock as well. Is there somebody here to talk to? Ooh, a sweet old man. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Explosives. This place doesn't seem safe when you live here. Do you know where I can clear the debris? Okay. Hey, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long, my wife and I had such a beautiful life. Until the collapse. Whoa, did that all collapse from up here? Now I'm alone, and I've cut off by land and sea. Left only these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. So then we have to kill the creature. Bombs. Bombs would do it. It's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large whale bone crest. Ah. I look for it. Ah. Also. Ah. Hmm. You would probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives for the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Okay, he must be the retired guy at the other place then. To the whaler! Bwan! Bwan! God, I love my little engine. Oh, not too fast. You don't want to crash and burn and die. What is it? Heard you used to make explosives. Aye, I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the more pleasant, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliffs. Ah, but I'm not sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'd have a use for some explosives like that. Like, if you're gonna make some and give them out, like, I can... I can do stuff with bombs! All right, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Okay. Is there anything else you can do for me? Okay. The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I expect he's regretting his decision now. So I'm assuming that the thing I need for the collector is behind that debris. 
He just said he'll think on it. That doesn't help me. I want you to not think on it. I want you to do it. Maybe I should go back and talk to the brother again? I don't know. Ooh, a bottle. Tell me your secrets, tiny bottle. He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I am being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to, ha to let me have a go. Huh. That's what I do. I dredge. I'm the dredger. That's what they call me. Good old dredgy. Dredgy the dredger. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's dredging time. And then everyone gets excited. Okay, so I need to figure out a way of getting one of those eels. Whoa. Was that him I heard? What is happening? Oh, that is him. Is he gonna come this way? Oh my god, he's large and in charge. Ah. Ooh. Oh god, oh god, it got me. Oh god. Okay. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. I come in the wrong house. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my hull is damaged. Oh my god, I took so much damage. One more hit and I die. Is he still chasing me? I thought he didn't come out at daytime. Oh, this is important. Oh my god, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, this is the crest. Ow! I thought I had to do like the bomb thing first and then I was able to do that. Uh oh, uh oh, ah, ah, oh, terrifying. Why is such a simple looking game so scary? <laughs> I'm so scared all the fucking time. Okay, stuff's rumbling, stuff's grumbling, things are exploding, my ship's about to break apart. Okay, I just need to get back. I just need to get back and repair and then we're good. I'll go to you first and talk to you about your sh you and your stupid brother's feud. Ah. Is this your family, Chris? You found it. I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now I have a further favor to ask. Oh, thank God. I thought you were going to say, can you go here and do this? But it's just to bring it to his brother. Tell him his brother is sorry and would like him to come home. Yeah, your brother said some bullshit. I don't know. I was too busy, like, in the throes of dying to hear what he said. Oh, why is everything getting all cloudy and miserable? This is going to cost me a lot to fix, isn't it? Mm. 90? Ugh. I can at least fix some of them. One of them. Wow! I've never had that happen. That bastard chased me so far. Okay, repairs are more important right now. I'm back, old man. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since. <laughs> so he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm. I don't know if... I was in the right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop. At least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day. So I didn't risk detonating it. I just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Oh, that's where I saw it. 
Isn't it just the one, like, right there? I don't know. I need to fish and sell and fish and sell and figure out how to not die. Uh, let's go over and sleep at this one. Oh no, it was the other one I saw. So I don't want to go in there now because that giant mega thing will kill me. Oh, so cool! As much of an asshole as he is and as scary as he is, it's really, really cool to see something chase you like that in this game. Did he mark it on my map? Nope. Yeah, it was... Here. Whoa! I thought you weren't here during the daytime! It's daytime! You need to go away! Tokyo Drift! I'm gonna lead him on a wild boat chase. My god! Most triple-A horror games can't get this level of tension going. As long as fuse, yes. You light the fuse. Wow! The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Well, hold on now a second. While something's not chasing me, I should just get some treasures. Can he give me bombs that I can just put down anywhere? That'd be cool. Set a bomb on the creature. Blow him to bits. You've done it. We heard the blast from here. God's the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can go home. Yeah, buddy. We love a family reunion. Woo! He said it's safe now. You can come. Do I have to put you in my little boat? He does. That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old. I hardly remembered it was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Let me put my little man in my little boat. <laughs> Thank God you don't have to go far. Although it does take me like an hour to do this trip, according to the in-game time. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Please hug. Little brother. You're home. Uh, I'm so sorry, I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. <laughs> Thank you. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Is now a good time? On the house! Packed explosives! I hope you can put them to good use, wherever you find cause for it. Okay, 36 per thing. Okay. Dude, I am going to blow this place sky high. You're gonna regret giving me explosives. Okay, I don't know how many explosives I need, but I kinda want infinite of them. Nice. Okay, that'll do. And then in the morning, we're blowing stuff up! Alright, how does this work? Use explosives. Nice! Nice! That thing is still flying around though. Ooh, is this refined metal? Yeah, baby! I wasted five hundred dollar redos on one of these now. <laughs> Feels like such a waste. Nice. God, that's satisfying. Where else was there one? Where else can I blow holes? Over here. I'm coming! I think I could actually just access all these areas. Wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't I do the one at where the old man's house was? I think I should. So I need at least two more. 
Maybe he only sells the perfect amount. Like, he sells five or six of them, and you, there's only five or six uses in the entire game. You heard that, right? Like, is this something I can blow up? Yeah. Hell yeah. Then I should be able to get the thing for the collector in here, right? Uh, am I being attacked, like, right this second? Should I be leaving? I hear him. He's over there somewhere. Yeah. This is the thing for the collector. Nice. And then he's going to give me an upgrade that's like... Now you can teleport across the universe. Fuck yeah. Hello, Mr. Collector. I'm back. Ah, God. <coughs> I'm bad at my job! Look, the whole thing sways! What am I supposed to be doing? So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson book, uh, his crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. You feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Instantly return to Blackstone Isle? Dude, I was joking! The reef at Stella Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. Okay. So, oh, you want me to go to the beast? You want me to, you want me to go to the area that's gonna get me killed? Wow! So, it shouldn't be that hard to keep it going? Am I okay on damage and stuff? Kind of. Also, I realized that there's a place that you can blow up in the Stellar Basin. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. That would have been really bad if my engine went out now. It would have been really bad. Eh, it wouldn't have been that bad. It would have just taken me forever to get there. Um, yeah, I still have an explosive. That's good. That's good. I'll go back and get stuff in the other areas as well, because I could, I could spend ages going back and getting all the fish in all the areas, doing every single little tiny thing in all the areas. Um, but right now I'm just interested in progressing story aspects. Oh wait, the thing is right here. Right here! Can I blow you up? From this side? Yes! Yes! It makes me scared that you don't move when you light the fuse. At least back up a little. So this must be what the collector's after, right? Nope, this is refined metal. Oh, uh, what the collector's after was actually in the very middle, isn't it? Ooh, two pieces of refined metal now. That's great. When I need to upgrade, we're gonna be able to upgrade. If you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. I also think only some of the squids come out at night time. Should probably go back and ask her what, ask her more information about the fish that she wants. Nice. I love this market music because it reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of Cass in Breath of the Wild. Do 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 You know it. You know it. Don't act like I'm the crazy one. You know what I'm talking about. You know what it is. Um, cool. Man, I have a lot of wood. What am I waiting for in this? Money. Just money. But all that stuff's gonna come in real handy for the next whole upgrade. Which I personally am very excited about. When I can get upgrades for my boat, that is a good day. But for now, I just need money. Glow squids, get in my belly. You buy this? Nice, three rod spaces. And now I need all of this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! 
Oh, it's so nice to have most of it. It's always that cloth that I'm missing. The the bolt of cloth is called. And I need eight hundred dollars. Okay, we get up at four a.m. now, because that means we can go a little earlier. By five a.m., the badness starts to go away. And then by 6 a.m. it's definitely gone, so we just get like an, a head start on the day, you know? And I can actually fish some of these! Because they only come out at night time as well. So as long as I- as long as I beat the morning rush! We're golden! <laughs> what was the last one that she wanted? Forget, it's definitely not you. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, get it away from me. Ew, gross. Stop. What up, lady? I'm back. Are you taking care of Beans? The wonderful little dog? Please tell me he's going to be in all of the shots with you now as well. Yes! Okay, glow squid. I know I can put them in any way I want, but I like matching the image. Um, right, so you need a, an Aurora Jellyfish, which is coastal. Um, let me just ask you about it. I can't. Wait, does that say that I catch them in a net? Oh, that makes sense. So I don't have a net. I guess I have to buy one? 225, actually I'm very close to that. Wait, what else were you selling? Ooh, you actually sell explosives now as well. And bigger lights! That would be very, very nice. A very, very nice. I would love to be able to put a second twin prop engine on this. Oh man, what a wonderful day that would be. I would be cruising. I need to get more research parts though. All right, how much do you guys sell for? Because depending, that would get me my 225 that I need. That should be enough. I don't need that much. Was it like $12 that I need? Yeah, whoa. Three of those sell for 115? Jeepers. Um, oh, you go there. Okay, I'll put you in storage for now. And then put you in storage. And then bring you over. Four hours to install. Well, that gives me some time. Select the trawl net with E and lower it with right click. Ew, okay. So is it like these? Like if I just drive over one of you, do I get it? I guess I do. That was very, very easy. <laughs> that took no time at all. All right, now we can go to sleep and go visit our lady friend tomorrow. Here we go. Um, oh, you have a separate thing for it, net. Oh, thank you. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But uh, yes, I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the Abyssal Zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. But while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. Okay. So I just go back to the other place? At least that's what I interpreted that to mean. How many more powers do I get? Three? Ooh. Sounds like Spider-Man music. Bum, ba, 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 ba. From the game. I'm glad the screen goes red. <laughs> And pink to let me know that I'm about to overheat my engines because I would totally overheat all the time. Whoa, that was close. A lab. The laboratory is in ruins with the equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? I looked everywhere already. 
Oh. I guess this just looked like junk to you the first time. Okay. Easy. I'm glad that the missions aren't that complex. Like I don't have to- Whoa, what are you? Whoa, you look cool! I wanna catch you! I need Hadal? Hadal? Never seen that word before in my life. I have your pieces! Excellent, let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, and you may be able to make some improvements. Okay, oh, nice. I can attach it as well as my rod. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it, I'm not sure. Connected to the research outpost's generator, you'll have to return to re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Nice! Great, now take a look at list, list of specimens. Remember, you want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve the equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Whoa, a snailfish, anglerfish, giant amphipod, and a loose jaw. You'd only do abyssal though. You might also need to improve that equipment. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Damn, this, this is definitely more involved than the other place. The other place was like, just go in and I didn't even really have to interact with the creature at all. So I... I want to see if I can get an upgrade for this thing first. Oh god, this game is so pretty. It's it's not only pretty and... At a lot of times, scary. But it's very cozy too. Which is surprising. There's something about just being out in the water when it's raining like this. That makes everything so cozy and... Nice and... I don't know. Some of you will understand what I mean. Um, I can fit another one, right? But seeing the lights in the distance through the hazy rain... I'm a big sucker for anything sort of weather related. It adds so much atmosphere, especially like fog, snow, rain. That sound. Excuse me? Was that just my stomach rumbling? Researcher's repulsion machine can be connected to the outpost generator here. A small object rolls. Yeah! Activate the machine. Uh not right now. What else am I trying to get? Bottomless lines. Oh. Oh! Nice! Bottomless lines now available in stores, so that can do Hadal stuff. I see what I was supposed to do now. That upgrade only engaged itself. God, look at this thing. Oh god, it's it's red. It's red. Does that mean it's mad? <laughs> I don't know what happens if you get attacked by it. Do you just die? I don't want to find out. Let me just buy or get more fish. I love this music. I want to get more fish so I can at least have a tiny bit more money, because I don't know how much... Well, I only got one. I don't know how much this upgrade is going to cost. Hopefully it's very cheap. Uh, shipyard. 405! Okay, never mind. Okay, let's start up this thing. Activate the machine? Yes! Repulsion machine hums and whirs to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blaring. The researcher said this should keep the creature at bay for a time at least. I also got the, the thing that I needed. Oh, it just completely goes away. Oh! Oh yeah, he's way down. Okay. Let's get me some treasure! Ah, God damn it! Okay, what did I get? A sextant? Bloody hell, do I need a sextant for? 
Okay, these are one of the ones that I needed. Yep, gross little weirdo. I hope you're also something that I need. Yep. Wait, are you the snail thing? Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna get what I need and then get out of here. I know the creature's gone completely. What is this? Ooh! That's the thing! Okay. I might as well get the other samples for her. Technically, I was only here to get that relic. I didn't need anything else, but... In for a penny, in for a pound and all that. Oh, it is one that I needed. Okay, and I got your snailfish. So I just need an anglerfish and a loose jaw. I'll stay in this region for a little longer. And then I'll make my way over here, and then night time will descend, and I'll start seeing some anglers around. I can get one of those. Oh, everything's coming up great for me. At least I hope. Actually. Can I... Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that was cool! What up, angler ship? You can't get me now! Ah, oh, that's so handy! I have your part for you! You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. You just come in What do you think of that? We're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Ability to lock banish. Fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects. Ooh, so if I'm getting chased by something, I can just get rid of something once? You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I mark a location on your map. Cool. Uh, that's the top left one. Alrighty. Cause there's still stuff I can do in Gale Cliffs, like get the... The eel that she wanted, the rotten one, and I can do the other one down here. And I'm assuming I get like research parts or things that I can sell. Um, but for now, I'm good with what I have. Let me, I don't have any books to read. Let me go to my storage, yeah. Take out all these because I'm heading that way tomorrow. Cool. I want to make so much money. How much do you think all this stuff sells for? I'm hoping at least 200. That sextant alone feels like it's worth a lot. 242! It's not... <laughs> it's not crazy. Like the stuff that you're finding, it feels like I should be getting way more money for them, but whatever. Alright, is that where I'm going? Is right there? What I'm seeing can't be this. It looks way too close for that. Oh, I... Optical illusion. It looked like the background and this foreground area were the same place. Ooh, there's a boat over here. Do I trust it? Should I trust it? Am I trusting it? Whoa, there's buildings over there. Like Greek... Uh... Style buildings. What is this? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hey! Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. Would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. 
I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Marrow for you. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Addressed to the dock worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. Ew. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from the corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Getting over it with mind and body. That's a uh, play on getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Okay. Well, I thought I was he heading for the other area, but I guess I'm heading back to Little Marrow for now. But I'll dig up some treasure while I'm here. Uh, dock worker. How's the day treating you? I got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one, let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you or compensation. That better come back around later. Because that's annoying. <laughs> I, I wasted my day for that. And we can head out. We're safe for now. The nighttime is so cool looking, but also terrifying. But once the day comes around, it starts to get lovely. I'm sure it sells, smells great out here as well. Apart from the fact that my boat is covered in fish all the time. Wait, his boat is gone! Huh. Interesting. Well, I resolved that matter. Ooh, spooky music. What are you guys? Are you new fish? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. A gray mullet. Like something an old rocker person would have. Cool, that's an interesting way of catching fish. I like that not every fish catches the same. Keeps things at least a little interesting and fresh. What up, traveling merchant? Remember me? Okay, I got 87 from that. I... I probably should be saving up for... Oh, you sell research parts now as well, though. I'll buy it. Because I... No! No, no, no. Damn it. I'm working towards this engine. I feel like... I don't think I'm going to get to this engine. The nets and the pots are fine. I'm sure if you spent a lot of time playing the game, you could get all the upgrades. But right now, I'm just focusing on... Uh, rods and engines. So I feel like they're going to yield the best results for me. But I also do need to get more cloth stuff. I don't trust this area, man. Oh, this is where I need the mangrove rod. Right? Yeah. Dang it. What is that? Are you- are you- okay? Ooh. Can you actually get caught under this thing? That looks like what this is for. Nope. Okay, you're just making me insane. I'm going to leave. Wow! No! Let me rest! Oh. Fucking poison ivy over here. Jesus. Okay, do I... I don't think I got the mangrove rod. No, volcanic and shallow rod. Do I have it here? Mangrove and cousin. I bought the research part when I could have used it to buy that. 
Oh well. Plenty more fish in the sea! See, that comes in handy for this. Let's check out what this island has. Can still catch all these. Not that they sell for much. Whoa! Entwined mullet! It's like the Rat King. At least making money in this game is fairly easy. Like, there's never been a time where I'm low on cash and then I can't get some. Ever. What do we have here? Oh, you're glowing. Treasure. What is it? New bike? PS5? Dog tags. A pair of dog tags. A name, number, and address is printed in duplicate. Oh, that's a plane that crashed. Cool. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a boat that was splayed up against the shore. Some good dredging out here today. Yes! Because that's the thing, you get a random chance to get a research part whenever you're dredging something, so... You probably have to play a lot of the game. Can I inspect this? It's not giving me the option. Ooh. Another boat. Okay! Okay! We are not doing that! Whoa, buddy! You crafty bastards! Oh my god, I'm just gonna keep dredging the wood. I'm just gonna stay in my lane. I'm just gonna do what I'm good at. Oh, that actually scared me. That was cool. What is with everybody, everything trying to be something else? Huh? We have fish trying to be boats. We have crabs trying to be boats. It's terrifying. Now I have me uh, a mangrove rod. I have no money, but I'll make that back in no time when I get all of these fish. Okay, that thing is coming to kill me very quickly. Okay. Okay, why do you suck? Why are you after me all the time? I need to find somebody in here who has a mission. I think if I get a mission, it'll be like, hey, kill the thing that's out there, and then I will, and everything will be great. Ooh, they sold for 153. That's great. For just two fish? That's awesome. Um, let me go around this instead. I don't like going into it. Feels like nothing but death is in there. Hiya! 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 What are you? A sergeant fish. Where's the colonel fish? Okay. Look, I'm a lonely fisherman. You gotta take whatever jokes you can get. I also need to find salvage. Which I actually don't think I can dredge up with the equipment that I have right now. So if I can dredge up some stuff, then I can increase my slots, and then I'll be very happy. Ooh, what this? Pointing me in a direction, well, I'm afraid to go anywhere. That thing is everywhere! I don't even have time to piss! Okay, the wood's got to go, because I'm running out of room. Okay, that's saying go right. That's just back here. I'm afraid that if I go under that thing, I'm going to get caught by it. Oh, there's a plane in there. Ah, there's too many things to do. My brain doesn't know which one to prioritize. Here's the plane. Oh, God, why are you here? This is some cloth that I need, but this is a terrible idea. Oh, no, it's not. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Can I get out over here? It's a bottle there. I don't want to be here anymore. This is a mistake. 
How do I get out? 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 Which way do I go? <laughs> this way. Get away from that thing! There must be something I can do to keep him away. Oh, maybe that new upgrade I got. If he comes after me, I just go. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think about that. I got a mortar barrel. Okay, well, I can't do anything with any of these right now. I don't have room for anything. I hope this thing gives me three cloth. Please. No! That was gonna be my win! If that gave me three cloth, then I could upgrade and then finally clear out most of my storage. I have way too many items right now. But I don't wanna dump a bunch of them. Oh, this is SOS. A castaway! I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you were a sight for these sore eyes! What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Uh, yeah. You can sit next to the boards. Climb a board! <laughs> There's nothing else to climb in there. I have nothing but boards. I wish something would just be more cloth. Just something. Man, I keep getting sidetracked by more missions. Hopefully this guy gives me something good, though. He probably won't, because he's right there, and all you have to do is bring him right here. Which means I was probably supposed to find him earlier, and all he's going to give me is, like, a doubloon. A doubloon! I'll take it. But I know you've got something better on you. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore. For me, at least. Or perhaps it'll be worth something for you. A signet ring. Better than nothing. I can't sell this. I picked up a mortar barrel and I can't sell it to him, so... Sweet cloth! I'm gonna get as much as I can because this is always the one that I'm missing. Nice! Are you more cloth? Oh, you're metal, aren't you? Yep. Okay, be careful. The tiniest nudge in this game always seems to break your ship. I gotta be careful. Man, remember when this, uh, marrow area seemed so big to get across? Now I'm feckin' zooming! I also should have crab pots here that I haven't picked up in a long time. Okay, time to upgrade my ship! No, it's not. I actually still need 800. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock, wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. How can you be so sure? The last time you thought you knew, and look what happened. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. I don't appreciate old, creepy women in media who seem to know more than I do. Okay, I need a lot more, man. <laughs> so much more money. Do I have any fish on me, do I? No. But also, my storage is full, so I need to... <sighs> you do Abyssal. I could probably sell you. Because you do Abyssal and Hadal. Can I just put you in? Why can I just put stuff here? Oh, I can put you in there, actually. If I go to the shipwright, can I sell it? No. Because it's not a paid upgrade. Fine. 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 Let's try this. 
Let's try getting some fish and not getting sped up. Because I have my banish thing on. And we're gonna test to see if it works. And now the guy's not here for some reason. So that's cool. Now I can't test it out. That's fine. I don't have any room for you. There he is. Boof. Nice. That got rid of him. Oh, it lasts a while. I thought it was like a single burst and then it was gone. That's wonderful. Does he just come back immediately though? Okay, I'm very close to 800. I have 714. I heard water rustle. Water doesn't rustle, it gurgles. The woe is gurgling. I gotta get out of here. I don't wanna be here for any longer than I need to be. Okay, is that enough? 797, I need three dollars. Three dollars! You know what, just go back and go to bed and try again tomorrow. I don't know why I even try to do cool things. I mean, clearly the world doesn't want me to. Here we go. Here we go! Upgrades, people! Upgrades! Sell these bad boys. Boom. I have a thousand dollars now. Oh! Nice! What else can I do? No. Additional engine slots, additional light space, cargo spaces, net spaces, rods, braces. Sorry, that was gross. <laughs> Sometimes it just bubbles out of you, you know? Uh, I need more metal. Yes, free up all that space and buy it. Oh, oh, oh. And cargo spaces. That's why we get more cloth, even though I don't have enough. Suddenly I have like way too many things and then after a while it's like, no, actually you don't have anything anymore. Actually, that was a lot to be able to fill into that. Just one more cloth. Nice. It's nice to have storage space again. I can dump that back in there. Woo! I'm gonna go to this island. It's like down here. I don't think I've been to that one either. Maybe I have because I was closer on the other side. What do you hold? What secrets do you have? Do you have cloth? Cloth would be sick. I always need cloth. What is that? Is that another plane? How many damn planes go down around here? Am I in the Bermuda Triangle? That's not a plane! <laughs> That's a crab! Run! Or a uh, uh, boat! Oh my god, how am I supposed to get away from those? You're not another one, are you? Whoa. You approach a hooded figure. Deep violet robes mask their face completely. Fishermen feed. The person appears to forget the rest of what they were about to say. Feed the mouth. The hooded figure reveals a scroll. They gesture to a picture shown at the top. I have one. No, I don't. Fuck! Okay, I'll get you a tarpon. What are you gonna do for me, though? If I get you a tarpon, are you gonna get me, like, tickets to Taylor Swift? Because those are hard to come by. Here. Oh, hole damage. God. Have your bloody tarpon. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses on itself under the pressure. The figure looks through the gory mess and picks out the heart, placing it onto their tongue. Sustain the mind. They show you another scroll. This one shows a horseshoe crab. Oh, you're just gonna keep asking for things. I'm done with you. Relationship with hooded man over. Can I get this before I get killed? Yeah, actually, because it's not 
rousing from its slumber at all. Another sextant. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, this is a plane I can inspect. The fuselage of an old fighter plane sits amidst a mass of broken wings and wheels. Try to get inside the fuselage. Ooh, fancy boots! Some dog tags and some glasses. Man, I have so much storage now. That's so cool. Hell yeah. Cloth! The one true- This is like playing the escapists again when all I need is duct tape. And I could never get any. Now cloth is king. Nice. Ooh, it is getting late though, and I am not near where I want to be. Let's just head out and around. <laughs> I don't want to go through the middle, because I'll get killed. Well, I do have the banishing thing. I shouldn't be that scared. But I am, because I'm a weak little boy. And even though I've upgraded my ship a lot, the tiniest little nudge seems to break half of it all the time. That is a deep rumble. Do you think there's like, you know how they always say, oh, there's always a bigger fish. Do you think there's a massive one in the game? I hope so. I hope there's something huge in this game that I haven't seen. I can't do anything with any of that. What was I getting? Cargo space? Yes. And I need $300 for it. Ugh. Okay. So new light space would be nice as well, actually, because I want to buy one of the bigger lights. Damn it. I used to have so much stuff and I have nothing. Let's try and get this message that's back in here again. Oh, there you are. Oh, how good for me. How absolutely delightful for me. Okay, anything else I can get in here? What are all these mushrooms? Ooh, maybe I need a bomb? Yeah! I don't have any packed explosives. Yeah, why did it even give me the option to try? Oh, I'll get some, don't you worry. Okay, so that thing doesn't follow me forever. That's really good to know. I can actually just go about my business. This is delightful. I, this game's not nearly as scary as I keep thinking it is. I don't need to be worried at every corner and every turn and every scare. I can just go at my own pace. Live my own destiny. Ooh, what this? Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn. It's like playing cluster truck. Nice. Okay, don't want to catch some fish yet. I want to dredge. I want to dredge. Dredge. Like, will you hurt me if I get caught in you? I kind of want to go under it just to see. Fine, I'll catch some fish. I do need the money. It feels like years since I have been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know what he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. Okay. What was the last book I read? 15% resilience to panic. That's great. Can I have that for real life? I would love to be able to be resilient to panic. Oh, weird one! Vortex interloper. Okay, there's that dude again. When he gets close, I'm gonna fire the nukes. Oh, he disappeared on his own! <laughs> Alright, let's go blow this up. Wait, that's not... Oh! This is not where I thought I was going. Whoa! Wait, you were here this whole time? God damn it. A large... Whoa, you're missing an arm! A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger. From that look at your face... I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. 
I've been trying to get rid of them for this from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask for you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squadron. I'm listening. I've met a few who, a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different than the rest? <laughs> I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You... You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Ah! We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I marked the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. I knew there had to be a mission here somewhere. <sighs> I've hung a few of their dog tags up in the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Um... Okay. Boom! Big engine! Nice. Now that's epic. Okay, so... There's one behind me. Is that that way? I don't have infinite explosives. Well, at least not here. I don't know if I can get more elsewhere. Uh, Goldsmith and Son, Little Marrow, 1926. Received the sum of $50 and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds and silver mounting. Received a further $3 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow for collection. Engraving is as follows. For Jay, my shining star. This is the second time we've seen the name Jay in an engraving for something, isn't it? I feel like I should be piecing something together, but I'm not. Um, to the left? Oh, it's right here. Nice. Dude, you're just gonna blast this thing straight out of the water? That's my kind of style. I like the sounds of that. I also did need metal. What a wonderful day. Oh, maybe that's what those are for. Then I get it to go through that and the guy fires the mortar at it and kills it. I'm down. Um, let me just do this first. What was I doing? This one? Nice. New light space. And I guess I have to get these if I want to upgrade the rest of my boat. That needs to go in my storage, and so do the dog tags. I thought I had more dog tags. Because I don't think I can sell them, right? Maybe not. I'm coming, buddy. Don't you worry. Hopefully that's all I need for the mortar. I don't know if I need any more bits. Hi, friend. Nice. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Yes. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No more mm. nightmares. I marked the locations of the traps. Okay. Need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Oh, man. Okay, I don't even know what these fish are. Oh, man, there's a lot to do. Okay. Uh... Let's talk about dog tags. Hmm. I 
Thank you. I'll hang on to hang them on the tree here, as promised. Nice. Okay, I thought I could literally just go back out and lure the thing into the trap and you would just blow him to bits. But I guess not. Life has to be more difficult. So I need to keep fishing. Well, this is not fishing. This be dredging! These are all just regular fish. I don't know why it had a... Oh, and I have to put it into three different traps. I have to attack him three times? Okay. Uh, bait for the second one. That's just another one of those. Why is it question marked? And then the last ones are long fin eel, which I think only come out at night time, so... Okay. Where do I put the bait? In one of the traps, the construction of the lagoons are... Okay. Can I go do that now? Like, can I just go put this bait in this trap? Or do I have to have all three? Nice! Should probably move away. Ah, so it just triggers immediately. Nice, get him! Get him! Oh, you think you're hot shit, but you ain't! A chunk of flesh! Nice! That was sick! I thought it was the same one attacking me every time, but I guess it's different... Uh, what, what do you call them? Mind suckers? Come on, be eels, be eels. Oh, that's good too. What are you, catfish? Come on, just an eel. Yes! Don't disappear though. Yes! Nice. Okay, I actually don't know what else I need. I might be done? Look at this slick movement! I'm the world's greatest fisherman. Okay. I need you, and you. Yes! And then the bait for the last one. Boom! <laughs> nice! Okay, I'm off! It's time to blow this popsicle stand! Okay, there's one of them over on the left. That was almost too perfect for me. It's like, yeah, I want to go here at night time, and let's go at this hour. And then it was the perfect amount of time I needed to get the things that I wanted. I'm just cool like that, I guess. Oh, through the mangrove. Yeah. Um. Over here. Yeah, baby. Um. Oh, I guess you just pick the number. Get him. Get him. Get him! <sighs> Trying to keep the camera on him. <laughs> yeah! And oh, then you hear the shot in the distance. That's so cool. Somebody must want these. There's no way I can just pick them up for nothing. They're just taking up room in my storage otherwise. There's the last one. And then I assume I can bring the guy back, right? I want to be able to bring him back to civilization. To Great Marrow. Or Little Marrow. No one wants to go to Great Marrow. Wait for it! When it comes down, wait for the shot to the left. Beautiful! Flawless execution. I don't know how you managed to hit that guy so perfectly, but I'll take it, man. We did it, Buckaroo! We finally killed those bastards. Look at that mortar. How are things going? Oh. Oh, crap. I don't have the other one on me. 
Pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes. This is the one of the beast's progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, you have more? You drop the flesh onto the ground, and he gives it a few slashes with his knife and wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. Let's finish this. Can I access my storage? Yeah. Here you go. Let's see it then. Drop the large bloody carcass, he bends down, revealing a glint of metal with a sickening tear. Oh, right, and he did the thing for the collector. He rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. Boom. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's, that's that, I suppose. What will you do now? Can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home for me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Mm. Ooh. Nice! <laughs> Toss the bait overboard to attract local species. Ow! Oh, that's one of my abilities. Yeah. Okay. Now we can head back to the Black Isle guy. I have another thing. Please give me a power. Oh, wait. Did I put it in my storage? Silly. Carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens a book, book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Whoa! As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane and the approach to the devil's spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. Nice. So now I can just... I have all the powers now. Cool. So if I just want to go over to, like, a thing of fish, like this? Does it... Wow! Well, that's very handy in a tight spot. Love that. Something slithers on into your cargo hold. Black tip reef shark infected. Huh? Can I still sell this? Okay. And this one's rotting already? What happened? <laughs> Whoa, this thing's glowing now. What? A slab of rock jerks out from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Do I... put these fish in it? Is that you guys? I can't remember which fish that is. Nope. Because I should be able to do that fairly quick now, if I have this new ability. Do they only glow at nighttime? I realize that I've probably never been around one at nighttime. Interesting. The plot thickens like soup. Oh, the dock worker's back. Are you sick now? The dock worker is standing motionless at the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear by what he sees. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body, and his breathing becomes labored. 
He seems unable to respond. He strains, clenches a fist. Eyes shut tight with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. That's the infected stuff that I got on the shark. A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. So you're not infected. That's kind of cool. Am I spreading an infection to everybody in this game? Because I'm sad if I'm killing people. <laughs> no, it's not just at night time. This is just glowing now. I do have curved fish. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to like fill this up, but I can. A wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something is lodged against the rock. A sinew spindle. A handline reel wrapped in a length of stretchy sinew. One end is grafted to a crude bone hook. Coastal and shallow fish. Okay. And there we have the last part of that for the net modifier. Now, what do we need for this? Oh, holy God. So four cloth and two refined metal and $1,500. It's not impossible. It's actually not that hard to do at all. And then I can get the last engine upgrade and that should give me room for the big engine that I want. How much does that actually cost? Uh, 450. That's not too bad. I can buy that now. Just put it in storage. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I still need room for the lights. Um, but I think the new hole upgrade will help with that as well. It's 9 p.m. Why am I not sleeping? Hey, 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 why are you, why are you floating around the place like that? Calm down, will you? All right, flying along. Because we just blew up all the monsters over there. And that just leaves this one area left. And then after that, who knows what's going to happen. There are other things to do in the game, obviously. But I just want to focus on what I want to focus on. And that's life. Just focus on what you want to focus on. I always end up giving these like life lessons as I'm dredging the depths. Because I have to concentrate. And Let's Playing is just filling noise with stream of consciousness. You think I know what I'm saying half the time? No. I just say it and then people clip the stuff and are like, man, that's so funny. And I'm like, don't even remember saying it. But I'm glad you find it funny. <laughs> it's my whole career in a nutshell. Wait, this doesn't look volcanic. I was promised volcano fish. That's the wrong thing. Okay, here. Is that a, no, that's a lamppost. Is, it, is that a little guy? <laughs> Standing on the side, he's just a little guy. No, it's not. Whoa, cool, creepy statues, though. Oh, wait, people don't stand around in this game. They, oh, this feels volcanic for sure. Look at those thermal vents. Uh, people are on the docks. There he is. A man meets you as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I'm just passing through. Do you have grayscale on you? What is this? Nonsense! Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I've been calling, and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what does your spirit seek? Eagles! Ah, uh, happiness. Ha! Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. Is it? <laughs> the whole inner peace thing and whatever. And your flesh, what does it crave? Lustful, exuberant sex! 
Ah, uh, the warmth of the sun. And yet it eludes you. Darkness is cast over the rest of your days. Finally, what does the world deserve? Darkness, nothing, the abyss. Exactly. And yet it takes endlessly. Harvesting, draining. But soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as Herald of the Purge, just as I was, but the one before me. Are you just gonna tell me that I need to go catch five fish? The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearts of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Now we're talking! Enough of this, I need an eel. Can you get me some bait? No, the fiery crucible with which all life is formed. Visit the shrines of the deep, I will mark them. They will offer further guidance and I must provide no more. Okay. Which statue do you want to look at? Uh, none of them, because none of them are doing anything yet. These stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carving do you want to look at? The swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children, alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you, burn them away. Okay. A large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Blind but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. Is this stuff that I'm actually supposed to be doing? The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. Okay. I'll figure it out. Do I have... What rods do I have on? I don't have a fire rod. Oh, I do. Uh, coastal and shallow, this does volcanic and shallow. Yeah. Do I need this? I'll put it back in here. Uh, hold on. Need to uninstall this boy. Let's go! Three hours. God, I'm pissing the day away being here. You said it, Eagle. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all the upgrades to my boat by the time I finish the game. It would be nice, but... It's also a little tedious when you're so close to finishing the story elements. I want something crazy to happen at the end. Like, I open up a portal to another dimension and Cthulhu comes bundling out with his tiny little booty. A man can dream. Man, I'm still sick. This sucks. I've been sick for over a week, and it's just a regular ass cold. I really wish it would go away. It makes my head feel all bunged up and sound weird. Any, any of you feel that right now, too? Yeah? Cool, I'm just trying to relate to my audience. I think I'm slower overall now, actually, but I've wasted too much of the day. Now I just need to explore around a little. Oh, you're telling me where to go. Nice. Thank you, game. Is there a place to rest over here, or am I fucked? That's the wrong place. <laughs> there is a place to rest! We're not fucked! Everything's great! Everything's coming up fishy, man! Let me get this message in a bottle. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Whoa! The fuck are you? Go away! You little swarmy bastards. Little shitheads! Okay. I mean, I am in their territory. My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There is just one thing left to do. Throw me back. Ah, do I have to throw the bottle back in? Because I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, floating dock, what do we need for a new hole? Yeah, I have a bunch of these now. I can buy one more metal. I need fifteen hundred dollars for that upgrade? Ugh, I need so much money. I'm just a poor little man. Won't somebody please spare some coin? I don't like that music. God, this place sucks. 
It's genuinely freaking me out. I don't want to be here. What is that sound? Is something chasing me? An armored sea robin. Okay. Depleted. Wow. I have fished until I can fish no more. How much do you sell for? Let's just go to sleep again. It's too late in the day to be doing anything. Especially when you have little firefish flying after you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Go away! I must be faster! Stronger! Smarter! Are they gone? Haha, <laughs> dum dums. What are you? A hook ray or something. At this point, I just need. Uh, uh, a defaced skate. Oh my god, you're horrific. But kind of cool at the same time. I'm so glad this game doesn't need stuff like fuel or anything. Could you imagine how annoying that would be? Okay, I need an abyssal rod for that. Great, glad I took that off. Oh, I almost dinked it. Okay, get this before those other freaks figure out where I am. This place does not sound healthy. This does not sound like a place you want to be. For any length of time. Careful. You, are those the thermal vents making those noises? I'm also- that sound of the- That is just the invisibility cloak sound from Harry Potter, isn't it? What? Is it Harry Potter I'm thinking of? When he puts the invisibility cloak on, he gets that kind of like music around him. So the audience know that he's invisible. Okay, time to head back. Yeah, good exploring. This place is very neat. Yeah, well done. Good job. Is this where I need to be? Oh, god damn it. I need, oh, wait, here's where I need to be. Stone shrine. An upright slab bears a carving. Two heavily plated creatures. Oh, I do need to go fishing. Okay, I need to put an abyssal rod back on. But first, let me just grab all this. Why are there so many eagles out here? Shut up already. What is this, America? No. It's ancient Rome. Or Greece. Ah! I'm okay. <laughs> Wait, if it's crabs that I need, then that means I need to just set out pots. Crab pots. Uh... Mm. Are you selling them? No, that's not where I buy them. Mm. Here. Basic crab pot. $90?! This is highway robbery. Can't even afford one yet. Christ! God, look at your prophecy, dude. You need a rich person. It's like, oh yeah, go get the three stone tablets to make sure that Algonon comes back to life. Through the end times, it's like, dude, I'm broke. Can't do shit. I think that would happen in real life. Jesus comes back down and he's like, dude, what happened? I left you guys with so much purpose and a point like treat each other with kindness we were like yeah fuck all that where's the money we want money bro jesus coming down again is, is like like that one rich uncle that everybody has or like a friend that always comes by or a grandparent that always gives everybody money and is loaded and then one time they show up and they don't bring anything and you're like well there goes my idea of getting a new bike Let's see what they want. I can't even get in there without an explosive. Oh, I actually can. I do have an explosive on me, but I don't want to waste it if I don't have to. I just go around, but I probably am going to get attacked by... <sniffs> Did you see that? Counteracted that shit. Oh, I had a skate. And uh, one of them. I didn't have one of those, but I can get one of those. Easy. I'm, I'm just gonna blow this up. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I got lazy and I just want to leave. Thank you. <laughs> and then the last one is in here. Everything is just so loud around here. What is that? The fuck are you?
Okay, we're just gonna do a, like a banishment. And make sure that nothing in this radius wants to get me. This is my safe circle! Ooh. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. Okay, I, I'm guessing that I need to put one of those in there. But it said a trader at Little Marrow can tell me more about it. Is that that thing making all that noise all the time? It's fucking loud. Ooh, escape, nice. Ooh, trophy fish! You're gonna go nice in my wallet. Woohoo! There's plenty of time for fishing later. Uh, messages. Yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course, but to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I am not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it is some veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. I'm just gonna say that I don't really know what's going on with all of that. But I'm happy for you guys. Or sorry that happened. Wait, did those fish just disappear? Oh. Because it's after 6 p.m. God damn it. Who knows? Maybe my crab pots have yielded some success, which I don't even know if they can pick up any of the bigger crabs that I need. Piss off. Piss off. No one likes you. Piss off. Hey! 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's head to. <clears throat> no, not banish. Uh, manifest? Woo! Yeah. Ah, oh, it's nice and calm over here, and it's lovely and blue. This place sucks. Let's head this way and ask the trader guy. Was it the trader that could tell me what it is? Uh, what is this? <laughs> what this? The tra trader takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Remarkable. Yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered with much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired this other piece. You found this near those ruins in Devil's Spine, didn't you? Ah, well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this one and study it further while you search for the other fragments. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me? Sure do. $363. I'll take that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That'll get us far in this life. That'll get us very far. Okay, on I go. Is... Does anyone sell metal? Anybody? I need some Any metal around here. Refined metal though. Like wood is great and all, but I don't really need it. Actually, I will need all of these for the upgrades anyway. Once I upgrade my hull, I'll need to upgrade my engines and stuff. Ah! My bad. There we go! That's the thing I need! I don't have space! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's gonna stay there! It's living its life! Oh. I don't know if I need this guy. He looks like one that I would need, but... I'm unsure! This one I definitely need, though. Yes! And then I can put that in and get... At least one part of this done. Hey, hey. Oh, come on! Twin engine is destroyed! You s It's fine, it's fine. The rock splits with an almighty crack. It crumbles away, revealing its core. Nice. Bits and bobs to do the jobs. A cold, unnatural flame. Dark shapes swirl and flicker inside. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I don't have to worry about going too fast for my own good in here. Wee! I'm so fast! Stupid boat. What is it, made out of paper? Fix it! Oh. Fix it! Nice. Okay. Um... And research into these new engines. 
Why not? I need three more. One of them I can buy. Also buy the metal. And a bomb. Wait, is that all the metal I need? Oh, baby! Now I just need $1,500. Do you have that spare? C come on, fork it up. Give me your money! Where's this flame grow, go, go, bro? What is it? Any shipwrecks around here? Ooh. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You're drawn to it, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped up my spirit when I first discovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time, as will you. When the ritual is prepared, it will be yours to carry forth. That's the thing that I need. Um, okay. I have a flame. I thought I could give it to you. Do I just put it in a statue? We'll figure it out. At least it's out of my storage and it's not taking up space anymore. Okay, there's so much area over to the left that I just haven't done. There's also a thing up here. Which is like a dock to go to, so maybe there's somebody there that can teach me more. Huh, another statue. A cave. In the dim light of the cave, you can make out some paintings on both walls. Check the left wall. These paintings depict the birth of a civilization. A great beacon of light is shown, repelling a tentacled figure emerging from the sea. That's what we want to see! Tentacles, baby! In the dim light of the cave, yeah, right wall. These paintings depict the fall of a civilization. A volcanic eruption tears through the, a tall lighthouse. Monstrous shapes devour people as buildings turn to ruin. Are these like two different endings that I can get? Or is this stuff that has happened? You climb as many steps leading up to the ancient lighthouse at its base of the solid stone floor. Okay, so this is ancient, so this has happened. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. That looks like... I can't go to my storage from here. It looks like the piece of map that I have. Oh no, that takes up three spaces. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery, it is. Alright, so what are the other parts that I'm trying to get? I need another fish. I don't know what he looks like. Oh. That's just for you guys. I can't fish you. Oh, you guys hold me back until he gets me. Oh, I didn't know that's what you were doing. Yes, this is what I need. Woohoo! I thought they would attack me, so it's good to know that they don't do damage then. Um, that's... The one over here, right? Ow! Go away! Leave me be, you feckin' scaled eejits! No, nope, that's not this one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Get away from me! I hate you! Where am I going? I'm all turned around. I was so confused as to what part of the island I was on. Oh my god, that scared me. Um... Yes, around this. Really? God, I did not think I was where I was. Or I am's where I am's! <laughs> It's getting a little late though. I shouldn't be out here. It's late. Oh, almost caught me arse on that one. Okay, and now this. Boom. Yeah. Oh, you would have just given me the metal and I could have saved my money. It's okay. Like I said before, I am going to need them. Eventually. So this one just needs two, like, weird fish. Aberrant fish. I guess you would call them. I don't have two right now, but you're good, right? Malformed fish, yeah. So I just need one more. It shouldn't be that hard to get those. I get them all the time, even just by accident. Oh lord, he's close. Oh, look at this maneuvering, though. You're never gonna catch me. Oh, you might, you might catch me. I saw gold stuff back there in the middle of that stone area. Let me sell these. I'm also just 
catching a ton of fish and selling them, because... Mm. I do need the money! I need 400 more! Then I can finally start dumping everything out of my storage. I have so much built up. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Hey, where was that gold thing I saw? Is it in there? Whoa, 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 whoa! He's close! Whoa! He's close! What are you? You're gold? Or maybe you're the piece of the thing that I need. Yeah. Oh. So I get all the pieces of that, bring it back to the guy. He makes a stone tablet. I put that in where the lighthouse thing was. And then everybody's golden. I don't need that. The last thing I need is more metal. I don't even know what to do with the metal that I have. Um, hold on. I want to go back there then. Bye. Peace. Piss off. And asleep I go. Because at least now I can be here. I actually don't need to sleep the full night. I realize that being out at night is not that scary in certain regions, but like obviously you can crash into stuff easily. But as long as the eyeball on your thing goes away, you're fine. Like you're like the eyeball up here, which is your frenzy. Uh That's all three, right? Judging by the age of the stone and the shape of the glyph, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this for now until you come across any others. Just one more to find. Ow! But I had them all. I don't have anything to sell to you. Okay, we'll go to sleep then. Actually, I just said that we don't need to sleep all the time. What am I doing? Wait, if I'm allowed to get any malformed fish... Ah, oh, fuck's sake, I don't have coastal. Does that mean I'm just able to grab them from anywhere? They don't need to be from the volcano region? Because that would be much easier. Oh, my eyeball's back. I need to sleep. Yes! Okay, that should be the last thing for that then. And I'm right next to it. Nice! Uh, let me get this ready. Ugh! It's so hard to navigate this area without crashing all the time. Yes! Encrusted talisman. Maybe that's what I need for the lighthouse then. Wait, why can't I put it in? Oh. Huh? Oh, oh god, I don't have room for this. Uh, what do I get rid of, if anything? Oh, this is so annoying, because you can't just place this anywhere. Yeah, put you there, and the metal can go out. Why is the metal even there? Ah, shit, that doesn't work. Now it works. Okay. It is very late in the day in this game right now. It's the next day already. Cool. That took a lot of time to do. That's fine. That's fine. It's just the buzzards of my brain. Armored sea robin. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is that? It's just a fish. It's just a fish. I can risk losing fish. What I can't risk is losing my mind! Okay, go to sleep for a while. Then the eyeball disappears and then you're fine. Okay. Mm. Nothing to sell. That's also totally fine. Mm. Nothing to repair. Cool. Move you guys around again. Free up some space. Okay. So I need $200 for another hull upgrade, but let's go do this first. So I can at least free up my inventory. When I put the last piece of the flame in, that should give me the piece that I need for the collector guy. But I also want to go over and do the lighthouse. I, I don't know if there's a sequence I'm supposed to be doing stuff in, but I figure giving stuff to the last guy seems pretty bad. Because I feel like he's a bad guy making me do his work. <clears throat> what do you think, Fanatic? What is it? The flames are lit. Ah! I can feel it! The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up to the steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. 
It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Uh, he ignores you. The wind picks up swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Let's look away. You can't. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. Whoa! It rages for a moment, then abruptly dies away. The cold mist pools around the floor of the temple, briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. Can I get the watch? Thanks, bro! <laughs> Take the pocket watch, it's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm. Clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked face. Damn! He got wrecked! Uh, okay, so I'm worried that doing either of these is going to progress the game too much. Like putting this thing in here is going to make me pick an ending or bringing the thing back to the other guy is going to trigger the ending if I don't do this first. So I'm just going to go with my gut instinct, which is to do this part first, but I could be wrong. Actually, we could. Let's just sleep a full day because when you do that, it saves. So if we, I don't lose anything by doing that. Uh, ancient Lighthouse. Is this the thing that goes in here? Oh no. Started by a tooth and bone. Oh, it just increases fishing speed. I should have read that first. I didn't realize. I thought this was the thing that goes in here. Ooh. Let me try and get $200 worth of fish then before we go back to the guy. Because it would be nice to upgrade my boat again. Even though we might just be at the end of the game. Who knows? Oh, right! I still need a last piece of the stone piece to bring to the trader so he can put all of them together. And then I probably go to the lighthouse for the ending. Uh, okay. Fish market. Let's sell these bad boys. Ah! I'm so close! Just a couple more fishies and then we're there. There we go, 1600. So now let's go here, buy this. Uh, and then let's get some engine space. I still need more money for that though. But that is totally fine. It's just nice to get all of this shit out of my inventory. God damn, cleaned me out. Ooh, I see a little, another little gold. Piss off. Oh, I need bombs to get into this one. Damn it, I don't have any on me. These little fish chasing me are so annoying. Go away! Um, can I get in there at all? No, I need bombs. Where's Big Fish Boy? I can hear him. Nowhere near me. Okay, good. Maybe he was closer than I thought? That was a scary noise. Let me go buy a bomb then. And then I should have the last piece of the stone and then... Oh, because there's four pieces. Those make up the four things that go at the lighthouse then. Wait, do I even have enough for a bomb? It's like 36. Oh, plenty. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, easy now. Steady now. Wait, where was that area that I... Over here. I think this is... I see little gold flickers in there. That has to be the last stone thing. Guys, piss off. If only those bombs hit them. Go away. Oh my god, that's loud! My freaking ears! There we go. And then we should be able to do this. Oh man, it's so nice to be able to do that. Oh, and listen. Exactly, listen, you can hear again. This place is so lovely to look at after being in the volcano section for so long. Mm. 
Trader takes the stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. He turns them over and arranges them together in a square. On the undersides of the tablets, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light onto the low ceiling. Hmm, yes, go on. He begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us, O oh guiding light. I only know of one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Marrow by centuries. Yes. An intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets? <laughs> I do, but I have to give it to... Uh, the scary man. Oh god. Oh god, both my engines got fucked. Oh, I drove too hard and my engines got ruined. I'm so close, just let me make it. <laughs> what is happening? I didn't even get to the top of the bar last time and it burst my engine. Oh, okay. I, th I think we're probably going to be fine, but oh my god, I've never seen that. Never mind, we might be dead. <laughs> just keep going. Just keep going. You just need to make it to that. Actually, god damn it! God damn it! I did it again! It builds up so much quicker than I think. I still need to make it to a place that can fix this, which is really annoying. Okay. Oh, God. Can I... Okay, take these off. So I can fix them later and just put this back on. That'll at least get me to the shop. Oh my God, so stressful. What is wrong with me? So what's this all about then in the end, huh? The fuse tablet clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Oh, it just gives me a bunch of stuff. Possible, impossibly bright for such a compact design. The delicately faceted crystal lens focuses a perpetual shimmering flame. Ooh, so I get that as a light? That's pretty sick. You take everything from the room. Nice. So is, is that just a light then that never goes out? 3,500 lumens. What was the other ones that I had? I don't know. I can't see. Let's see if he says anything about it. He explains to the trader that he found a use for the fused tablet at the ancient lighthouse in Devil's Spine. It opened a door to that ruined lighthouse. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I hope you found something interesting for me to take a look at. Uh... Is this just for me to sell right now? That's it? I thought I could, like, show it to him or something, the way he was talking, but... I get it. That's fine. The old mayor. I was heading towards uh, the traveling merchant and I just found this island with a campfire on it. Did you, did you throw it back? What? The book! I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, Something cloaked in fog followed it out right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him, still clutching that book. Throw it back! 
We cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it could still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson. The book covered in her blood. Wait, is that the book that the guy he's been reading out of? He keeps giving me upgrades and I keep bringing him trinkets? Throw it back! The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Oh, please. The lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it... Where it needs to go. Oh, the old lady. Okay, so I can go talk to her? Ooh! This got far more intriguing. Where am I? Ow! Oh, I was trying to head here, and I got turned around. That's pretty sick! Um, I wanted to go see if I could buy... Well, actually, I need to get more fish. I want to be able to buy another research part, and if I do, I should be able to get the last engines. Which I don't really need at this point, like I can finish it at any time that I want to, but... I don't know, I like being able to get as much out of it as I can. Ah, she's not selling any. Damn it. <laughs> These look like faces. Oh, that's okay then. I can probably get some. I mean, I am pretty fast right now anyway. 14, 15, and 52, so I'm, I'm pretty quick. Um, I don't really need more, but it was just a fun idea. Actually, I can just do this to get back. And then head over to the lighthouse keeper. Man, look at that big beam out the front of me now. That's so nice. Ever bright. Well, stuff is still showing up in front of me though. Ooh, what a drift in. Uh, lighthouse keeper. What is it? What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me? After all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on. For her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. That didn't tell me anything. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Do I need to... Throw it away. Let's let's rest. Let let's just talk to the dude. Let's bring it to the guy and see what happens. Um, that's oh, on cooldown. Wow, so pretty. God, I'm so fast. Look at me go. Yeah, I don't really need it. Many more upgrades. Um, okay. You climb the broken steps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer, an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sounds of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. I know. We must t make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I am ready. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, because I saved right before this at nighttime, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Oh. We just wait till nighttime? <laughs> I could have come here just before this, before I saved. I mean, it's good that I did, but... It was like 11 p.m. by then. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. 
Not with such significant cargo. Make haste. Oh, he's aboard my vessel, but he doesn't show up. Okay. Um, ay ay ay. Where are we going? Here. Oh. I'm assuming that it's that big ominous pillar of light out in the middle of the water. That wasn't there before, huh? Do you think it could be that? Oh, it's probably that. Yes, this is what I wanted though. Woo! I'm so quick. How many more engines could I have fit, actually? Not much. I guess a bunch of those jet ones if you wanted to, along with the massive one, but we'd have been here forever trying to get research parts. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard, and tethered by chains in the deep. So there's a necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to starry heavens. Starry heavens. He starts to key into the lock of the music box and lay the weary world to rest. So there's a music box overboard, its key left unturned. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Whoa! Hi! Cool sound. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that Cthulhu? Dude, what the fuck happened? <laughs> that was sick! Hold on, let me go back and talk to the guy. Oh wait, I'm right here. Um... Conceal the relic. Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here. With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in its hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Hmm. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? <sighs> you wanted to forget. Begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book! Your words hang in the space between them. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. It was me! Dude! I was talking in a mirror! Whoa! You're pathetic. The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages. And now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber, find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Wait, so... I don't understand who you are. I am what was fractured from you on that day you dredged the depths. I am what you could be. I am what could be. I am your breathless self. 
Wait, can I actually get rid of the book? Hold on, let me go back and talk to the old lady. Dude, I did not expect that as like a twist. Uh, I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Oh yeah! Like, I punched him and took the book bag. I had it with me all this time. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you're ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. So this is the other ending then. We must wait until the night is thickest. Till the ocean is at it was all those years ago. Oh lady, you're gonna be dead by the time we hit 1 a.m. Come on already. Is she gonna climb aboard this time? It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. So I lost someone out at sea years ago. And this whole time I've just been trying to get them back. That's cool. That's a cool twist. Oh, that's the guiding light. Because he said I only know one guiding light, but it's the lighthouse. That's so cool. I knew the lighthouse had to play a role somehow. Because it was just there foreboding all the time. Obviously as a landmark for gameplay, but to have it be something that guides the light for the ending, this is the place. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. So, was I being like, tricked by the book to be like, we can bring her back, but at that cost you open up the world to that dimension and something else is going to come through as well. You like thin the veil between life and death. You hold it high above your head, a low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. You throw it into the foaming water. Feck off! Whoa! that. <laughs> I don't like that I got devoured and killed. Damn, but at least everything's saved. That's cool. I like that. That was a surprising amount of story. Overall, fantastic game. It was pretty short, but I liked it a lot. I liked the fishing aspect of it, the different types of fish, being able to collect so many different ones of them, and it never felt too repetitive. Having it be as short as it is, I think, is the right call because it doesn't overstay its welcome. Art style was awesome. Sound design was uh, sound design was awesome. Music is great. The story was cool. Just nice, straightforward, simplistic. That's all you need sometimes. But yeah, hell of a game. I'm really glad that I played this. I'm really glad I stuck it out. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.